Welcome to the Center Supplier Agreement Management Demonstration. As mentioned in the Center literature and throughout this website, Center is a web-based system with zero footprint on the user's workstation and is built using an N-tier architecture where the database backend is MS SQL, the middle tier containing the business logic is composed of COM objects, and the interface makes use of active server pages. Center is in its fourth rewrite and all new subsystems are coded in .NET. Hello, I am Abel Medina. I am an ITG contracts manager, an ISO auditor, a CMMI appraiser, and a certified project manager by the BMP Institute. We log in and enter the home screen. The dashboard informs us of issued and pending change requests, open service records, workflow actions, and action items from meetings. As all our links, selecting any will take us to the actual record. We view the top line menu and enter supply change management. This module is made of the purchasing, vendor and subcontractor, inventory and logistics management subsystems. Purchasing. We select purchasing and we view the returning screen. Starting from the left, we see a purchase order request selection, PO request, which is the short form we fill out when we enter our request to purchase an item or a service. Lengthier purchase requisition requests can be supplied using our Procure automated government procurement system. We select Priority High and press Continue. The system returns a listing of 232 purchase requests meeting this search parameter. As in all center modules, the records are displayed in an ascending order. The column headers are links and if selected can resort the displayed records in a descending order by the selected column. Starting from the left, the first field is the unique ID of the PO request and by selecting the link we are navigated into the record detail which contains the items being requested and other related data. At the top of the screen we see that we can issue a new PO request or notify the applicable stakeholders of our purchase request. We return to purchasing, enter the search option. As in all center search screens, the resolution of our search is increasing as we add more data into the fields of the search record. We enter 8068-000 into the contract field. We select Zumas Andreas from the buyer pool and we pick date range start of 03-01-2009 and date range end of 03-15-2009. The system returns a single record, PO number 3502. We view the record for detail. At the top of the screen, we select the selections New, Duplicate PO, Search, and PO Request. We can issue a new PO, create another PO with the contents of the present PO, but with a different PO unique ID. We can return to search or look at the PO request that originated the present record. As we review the left column of the record, we see vendor data, terms and contract information, and further up below, the rating that has been given to this vendor for this transaction. All POs are rated in this manner, producing a composite rating for each vendor. When we review the vendor and subcontractor subsystems, we will see how the rating assists us in selecting the best suppliers for each transaction. Continuing on the left column, we see the buyer's name and the completed stages of the transaction along with the respective dates. 
we shift our attention to the right column where we see the shift to particulars along with the comments and notes. Further below, we see details of the item being purchased, the shipping data, including the tracking number and other pertinent information. The shipping address view link will take us to a unique address for this line item if there were multiple shipments for multiple addresses. We return to the purchasing main screen. The approve, invoice, receive, and pay selections are related to the stages of each transaction that we reviewed earlier. By entering any of these options, the user would select transactions to edit and advance into their next stage. By selecting search entitlement, the user would verify that a purchase request was intended for a supported configuration item slash asset. We return to supply change management and select logistics. Logistics. In logistics, we receive and store into inventory purchased material. We expedite part orders and RMAs generated by IT service management and project tasks, as well as sales orders to customers that contain in-stock supplies. We enter search repair log slash MA and select Dell from the manufacturer drop-down selection field. We select dates and press continue. The system returns 2,681 record logs indicating repairs that took place in our depot or at a supplier's depot. We select a record and review its contents. We pick repair log record 18100 and examine it. The upper portion of the record contains service record, equipment, and contract information. In the main body of the record, we see the description, resolution, and condition of the item as received. And further below, the dates and engineers involved, as well as the associated costs of the repair. Pending RMA will return a list of records representing devices that have been shipped for depot repair, but have not been received back. Not shipped RMAs will return a list of records of repaired devices that have not been returned to the users. Search part order will return list of records of choice depending on the search that reflects parts that were ordered to satisfy an incident, a request fulfillment, or a project task. In the search screen we enter 8032-000 in the contract field and select dates of 02-01-2009 and 03-15-2009. The search returns 98 records. We select part order 58640 and view the returning record. The record resembles a purchase order but in fact it is a request from a technical account manager slash service agent for a particular part either from warehouse stock or from an outside source. Essentially center will look into inventory and if the requested item is not in stock the part order will be directed to purchasing for an applicable transaction. At the top of the record we see the field service record as a link. We follow the link and arrive at the service record that originated the part order. Obviously, given that these are real records, the names and contact information are removed. We peruse the ordered item detail and select the view inventory link. 